Hi everyone, my name is Taylor with Green Our Planet and today we're going to be building a simple crack key hydroponic system. The crack key system is a, is a passive style of hydroponics. There's no pumps or moving parts. So as you can see, we've got an empty yogurt container. We've started a plant in a net cup. The way this works is that once we put a seedling in here, we fill this up with a nutrient solution and as the uh, plant uses the water and nutrients, the water level will go down. The plant's roots will then grow longer to chase the water as it goes down. A simple system like this is good for like quick growing things like we've got a lettuce here that's a 30 to 40 day crop. The idea is that you would fill this up one time and you're trying to grow, choose plants that will be finished growing by the time the water runs out. If necessary, you can top it off and refill again. But this is a fun a very simple way to introduce uh, students to hydroponics. So we're gonna show you how to build one. You need any kind of uh, container with a lid will work. Uh, I like these yogurt containers. They're a good size for a uh, crack key. You could, if you have a friend with a bakery or something, you can get a bucket for icing and make a little bit larger ones. You can stack cups inside of each other, just different ways. So to build our crack key system, we just need a few things. We need an empty yogurt container with the lid. We're going to need a two inch net cup is what we're going to be using. Uh, there's a variety of these available. I like to get one that has a nice wide lip on it so that uh, especially if students are doing the cutting, you can make that uh, fit through the hole easily enough. We've got a seed here and a little coconut uh, fiber plug that we've started. We've got one little root sticking out, a young plant. We're gonna use some expanded clay pebbles. And other than that, we just need a marker and some type of cutting tool. You could use scissors or an X-Acto box cutting knife. To build a cracky hydroponic system, the first thing we're gonna do is take this lid off of our container. And I'm going to place my net cup pretty well centered as I can. I'm not gonna use the big end, I'm gonna use the small end and just trace around that real quick. As you can see, mine's not perfect, but we want the idea of where our cut needs to be so that I don't damage my mat here. I'm going to use my X-Acto box cutter so that my net cup will slide in like this here. Still gonna fit right on top, as you can see how that's gonna work. Now we want to get our plant in here, so we're gonna put a few expanded clay pebbles right at the bottom. What we're looking for is that our uh, plant has a similar relationship with the top of this container that it would have in the soil. You don't want it to be, uh, the stems and leaves to be down underwater. You wanna make sure this is planted high enough and this is just to support and hold the plant in place. The clay pebbles are not going to change the pH of our solution once we add it. All right, so we've cut our lid. We've put the net cup in the top here, filled it with some clay pebbles in our started plant. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this container with a nutrient solution. We'll fill this nearly to the top. We're going to put our lid on, and we want this full enough that our little root that we had started on this cube is going to be submerged in the water. If you need any uh, information on how to start seeds in the planting plugs or mixed nutrient solutions, be sure to check out our other videos on that. Our plants in here, we're just going to either put this in a really well lit window or underneath a grow light. And as this uh, plant grows and the water level goes down, the roots will chase, the roots will continue to grow long into this container. And here's one that's a couple, about a week or two older than the one we just planted today. So these are a real fun, real simple system, a, a nice way to introduce students to hydroponics. <laughs>